Okay, so since you are already familiar in writing the electron configuration and drawing the orbital diagram, we can now proceed to the next topic, which is the quantum numbers. So, sa quantum numbers, it is uh, you can identify the quantum number of an element depending on its uh, depending on its electron configuration and its orbital diagram. So, quantum numbers are values that are used when describing the energy levels available to the atoms in molecules. So, so there are four quantum numbers and these are all constant. Um, we have the N, we have the sexy L, L siya pero parang sexy yung L niya. We have the M sub L and we have the M sub S. So, anong ibig sabihin nung mga, num nung mga letters na to? So, bawat isa sa kanila, mahahanap natin sa electron configuration and sa orbital diagram. So, let's start with the first quantum number, the principal quantum number or the N. But, uh, the energy, uh, these are usually the energy levels or the energy level number. So, it is any, non -po uh, any positive non-zero integer. Like, for example, we have a 3s1. This is our electron configuration. Our N will be 3. Bakit 3? Kasi itong part na to, ito yung energy level. Therefore, our principal quantum number will be 3. So for example, kung ang uh, electron configuration natin is 4s2, then our N will be 4. Kasi 4 yung kanyang numerical coefficient. Okay, now let us proceed to the next quantum number, the orbital quantum number, also known as the azimuthal quantum number. So it is represented by the cursive L or the sexy L. So ito siya. Okay, so these are usually the sublevels of a particular N. So it ranges from 0 to n minus 1 and it describes the shape of the atomic orbital. So again, it describes the sublevel. So ano ano ba yung mga sublevel natin? Meron tayong S, meron tayong P, we have D and we have F. So these are our uh or these are our sublevels. And every sublevel meron siyang value for the azimuthal quantum number. For S, ang value niya ay 0. For P, ang value niya ay 1. For D, it is 2. For F, it is 3. So, kung babalik tayo doon sa example natin kanina, we have 3S1. Ang azimuthal quantum number niya is 0. Bakit 0? Kasi katabi ni 3 ay S. And we all know, as I have said a while ago, yung S, ang value niya will be Zero. Now let us proceed to the third one, the magnetic quantum number or the magnetic azimuthal or yung M sub L. Ito siya. Yan. So it describes the orientation of the atomic orbital space. So usually, it ranges from negative 3 to positive 3 depending on the subshell. Kapag S, isa lang yung orbital niya, ang value niya ay 0. Kapag P, mayroon siyang tatlong orbitals, ang, ba ang value niyan is negative 1, 0, negative 1. Kapag D, mayroon siyang 5 orbitals, so this will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. So for F, mayroon siyang 7 orbitals, so this is negative 3, negative 2, Negative 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So, para sa itong mga values na to, para sa, para sa itong mga negative and positives na to, this will, uh, the value of your magnetic azimuthal will be based on where your last electron will land. Saan mag end yung inyong last electron? That is why it is very important na kapag nag-drawing kayo ng orbital diagram, you have to encircle the last electron kasi doon nakadepende si magnetic quantum number or si magnetic azimuthal. The last one will be 
the electron spin or the magnetic spin quantum number. It has two uh, it has two values and each value describes the spin direction of the electron. So the uh, the first value is positive one half. So kung ang last electron nyo ay naka up spin or nakaka uh, naka clockwise, then that's the value. If it is counterclockwise or down spin, the value of your magnetic spin will be negative one half. So dalawa lang siya, up or down. So kung ang last electron nyo ay up, that's plus one half. Kapag ang um, last electron nyo is naka down, that's the and then that's negative one half. So this is a table para ma, ma summarize natin yung values ng bawat quantum number. So ito siya. So S0. Basta alam niyo yung energy level. We have the orbital or zimuthal S0, P1, D2, F3, G4, H5. Okay, so magnetic azimuthal ito na siya. Bahala kayo siya. So let's have an example. So again, balik tayo sa orbitals natin. So, ay sa quantum numbers natin, n is the first quantum number. Ito yung ating energy levels. So, usually found as the numerical coefficient. Orbitals naman natin, the L, ito yung ating subshells. So, every subshell has a value. So, for S, So, that is 0. For P, meron siyang tatlong orbitals. For D, for F, This is M sub L. Okay, so S is 0, P is 1, D is 2, F is 3. So, ito, ang value sa man ng magnetic azimuthal natin will be based on the orbitals. So, this is uh, 0. Kapag nag-end yung ating uh, last electron sa S, then that will be 0. Ito ay negative 1, 0, positive 1. Always write the positive kasi wala lang. Nagay niya lang positive. This is negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. This is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. So, ito yung values ng ating magnetic azimuthal. The last one will be your magnetic spin. Magnetic spin will be positive one-half kapag naka-up, negative one-half kapag naka-down. So, that is your quantum numbers. Um, let's try lithium. So, lithium, the electron configuration is... 1s2, 2s1. Okay. So, in uh, in writing or in identifying the quantum number, ang pinaka-importante lang dito sa atin is the last electron configuration. Ito. Yan yung pinaka-importante sa atin ngayon. So, our orbital diagram will be like this. Okay. This is 1s2. This is 2s1. Okay, so write the electrons, 1, 2, then this is 1. Okay, so in circle, the last electron. Okay, again, ang pinaka-importante sa atin ngayon is itong mga last na orbital diagram at yung last na electron configuration. So we have to identify now, we are ready now to identify the quantum numbers of 
lithium. So, for lithium, ang N natin will be ano. So, we have 2S1 here. Bakit 2 yung ating energy level? Kasi, yung number dun sa last electron configuration natin is 2. So, your N will be 2. Okay. Next is the orbital or the sexy L. So, ano na yung ating um, orbital quantum number? So, we have 2 S1 and we have S here. So, what will be the value of S? Balik tayo doon sa, sa summary natin kanina. For L, we have S equals 0. So, our orbital quantum number will be 0. Kasi, S yung katabi ni 2. So, for the magnetic azimuthal, we will be we will be basing our answer dun sa ating orbital diagram. So, this is 2s1. So, the s here has only one orbital. So, that will be 0. Bakit 0? Kasi looking here, dito sa ating uh, summary, s, meron lang siyang isang orbital. And yung orbital ng s, ang value niya lang ay 0. So, our m sub l will be 0. Okay, so, and lastly, we have the M sub S or the magnetic spin. We have to look at the direction of the arrow. Is it up or is it down? So, based on our summary here, kapag naka-up siya, then the value will be positive 1 half. So, therefore, the quantum numbers for lithium are 2, 0, 0, positive 1 half. So, this is our final answer for lithium. Let's have scandium. Scandium. That's 21. Electron configuration of scandium. Okay. 1, 2... 3, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 10, 2, 4, 6, 10, 2, 6, 2, 1. Okay. So that's the electron configuration for scandium. So our orbital diagram will be. Again, ang pinaka-importante lang when we draw the, or uh, when we identify the quantum number is the last electron configuration. So, ito yung ating last na electron configuration and the last orbital diagram. So, for us to save time, gagawin ko na lang yung orbital diagram ng D, ng 3D1. Pero kayo, gawin nyo lahat. Save lang ako ng time. Ayan. So, this will be, ayan, 3D1 lang siya. So, this will be up spin. So, yun yung last na electron na nadaro natin. So, encircle natin yun. Ayan. So, identify na natin si quantum number. Quantum numbers. Ang n natin will be 3. Bakit 3? Kasi 3 d 1. So, ito 3 to. So, n natin 3. Then, our L will be what is d? So, S is 0. P is 1. D is 2. Magnetic azimuthal will be this is in the d orbital. So, this is negative 2. Negative 1, 0. Positive 1, positive 2. So, nag-stop siya or nag-end siya dun sa negative 2, then our value will be negative 2. And our magnetic spin is positive 1 half. Bakit positive 1 half? Kasi naka-arrow up siya. So, therefore, the quantum number for scandium is 3, 2, negative 2, positive 1 half. So, that is the answer. Find the quantum 
numbers. Okay, let's have sulfur. That is 16. So identify the electron configuration, the orbital diagram, then the quantum numbers. Our electron configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. 3p4. So orbital diagram. So dito nakabit yung orbital diagram natin. So 4, 1, 2, 3. Four. This will be negative one, zero, positive one. So our n will be three. Orbital number will be since it is p that is one. Magnetic azimuthal will be negative 1 kasi dito siya nag-end sa negative 1. Magnetic spin will be negative 1 half kasi naka-down spin. So, that's 3, 1, negative 1, negative 1 half. For those who got it right, very good. For those who tried, thank you very much. For those who do not get it, Magsabi sa akin para ma-explain ko siya ulit. Okay? Nagets na si quantum number. Okay, nagets na siya. So, bala na kayo dyan. Charak. 